EFLOSAF technology is a major revolution in the wastewater treatment processes and technologies. It is a high-rate advanced wastewater treatment process. Generally, wastewater collected from several sources like urban dwellings, oil and gas, mining or construction camps, all wastewater is transported from there. Then received in the adjacent lifting station, which is equipped with submersible sewage pumps, level control switches, and EFLO air odor control unit. From the lifting station, the wastewater is pumped to the inlet of the EFLO SAF plant. The flow will pass through an automatic screen where all solids and unwanted particles are captured then transported through a chute to a skip. The screened wastewater flows then to the aeration and biozone tank. EFLOSAF submerged aerated filter is a fixed bed bioreactor using attached growth by means of a submerged aerated fixed bed high surface area matrix, which makes the EFLOSAF plant very compact with low footprint. The heart of the system is a structured matrix of welded and rigid polypropylene PP or PVC media with a very high specific surface area. This allows for high concentrations of attached biomass to be maintained in the biozone. The media is assembled in Corodex factory in a certain unique configuration known only by EFLO and fixed in steel frames holding the media block as an integral standalone unit. The ready-assembled media block is fixed further to the tank structure itself properly. The wastewater starts filling the aeration and biozone tank, noting that a unique zone where considerable equalization volume is kept within this allocated zone above the biological media. This also helps to relax the process further air is supplied via air blowers. It is delivered to the biomass via medium bubble air sparge pipes located beneath the media. The unique flow patterns within the media ensure high rates of biological oxidation with relatively low retention time. The biological process consisting of several steps, briefly the biomass growth, biomass sloughing, nitrification and partial denitrification. This is a continuous process of biomass growth where several types of microorganisms are utilizing nutrients and oxygen, followed by biomass detachment. The detachment occurs shortly after a thin anaerobic layer forms at the support media surface. This anaerobic layer forms when the biomass thickness prevents air from diffusing to the full depth of biomass. The polysaccharides firmly gluing the biomass to the media reduce and the nitrogen bubbles along with the aeration scouring slough and chunks biomass from the media surface. New biomass rapidly grows in the place of the detached biomass and the process continues. Therefore, biological oxidation drives treatment to full nitrification with some partial denitrification occurring deep inside the biomass, close to the support media without the requirement for anoxic zones. Also, the biomass is correctly fixed in the biozone, which makes the sludge return or mixed liquor recirculation is not required, all of which makes the process very easy. Very high concentration of attached biomass is maintained in the biozone. The support media ensures air bubble retention time is prolonged due to the zigzag route through the media allowing exceptionally high oxygen transfer efficiency rate that reduce the size of the air blowers, which in turn leads for less energy consumption and large power savings. Mixed liquor is transferred to the settlement tank via several mechanisms related to EFLO's proprietary technology know-how in a way where the flow, the amount of past solids, the overflow rate through the weirs or baffles arrangements and any trapped content of scum are all taken care of. The collected sludge then transferred to the sludge holding tank. The sludge holding tank is equipped also with EFLO's know-how decanting mechanism to remove the watery supernatant, which ensures further thickening of the sludge considering higher percentage of DS, dry solids content. In the disinfection tank, the effluent is dosed with a diluted solution of sodium or calcium hypochlorite and given certain reaction time, 
The residual chlorine concentration in the treated water is considered as per the end user requirement. The disinfected effluent is pumped to pressure multimedia filter to polish the effluent by further removing suspended solids. This filter is located in the control or machinery room along with other components like pumps, blowers, and control panel. The fully treated water is pumped from the multimedia filter to outside the plant for discharge or reuse.